Eric the Midget wants to thank us for the movie premiere. I can't believe he wants to what? thank us. Is that right, Eric? Yes, I do. Yeah, you have a good time? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we, we sent Eric over to this movie premiere for some wrestler. Like some big deal wrestler that Eric sent to. Yeah. You better, you better know who he is. He's going to be your guest next Wednesday. We'll yeah. know then. Well, yeah, that, I don't really t waste my time learning about somebody until I see him here in the studio. John Senna? No, Cena. Cena. And what happened? You went and they treated you like a million bucks, I hope? Yes, they did. Did yeah. you meet with John? Yeah, him, Kelly Carlson, the director, Triple H, and all the other WWE people that were there. Wow. All right, that's good. No wonder you're calling the thank us. Yeah. Did John put you on his lap? Did, you put, did he put you on his lap? No, I uh, stayed in my wheelchair. Uh, I was hoping he was going to put you on his lap. I was looking for that. Bounce you up and down. Yeah, Triple H should have taken you out. Triple H didn't take you out of the wheelchair and put you on his lap? No. Damn. I'm sorry about that, but maybe next time. we got to talk to them again. Yeah, i got to straighten those guys out. You would have liked that, right? No, I preferred staying in my chair. Oh, you would. All right. <laughs> What about what we'd prefer? Wait a minute. You wouldn't have liked it if Triple H picked you up and twirled you around, threw you up in the air, and caught you? No. No. All right. All right. Well, we I told those would. guys to do it, but I guess they didn't do it. They were supposed to surprise you with yeah. that. I guess, once again, our needs are completely not met. What was the highlight of the night? Tell me. And how was the movie? The movie's real good. Hopefully it will be you know, a hit for John Cena. And what was the highlight of your evening with John Cena? Just, you know, getting to interview all of them. I wish they hey, put batteries into my, the tape recorder sooner than I did because I ended up missing half of the interviews. Oh, darn. You have interviews? He taped. He didn't tape them, though, he's saying. Well, I, I videotaped the interviews with each of the wrestlers and other stars that were there. Only, and I also had a tape recorder on my lap. <laughs> Only thing is, I didn't realize that there weren't batteries in the tape recorder till just before I interviewed John Cena. Did you have t batteries in your videotape? You have the videotape. Yeah, the videotape came out. Pretty good. Funny, you know, this guy just sits around all day doing nothing, and then all of a sudden he gets to interview these people, he forgets to put batteries in the tape recorder. Yeah, but we got to get the videotape. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see their faces. Are you a retarded midget? <laughs> what kind of questions do you ask in this interview? Do you have a big package? <laughs> no, I didn't ask any stupid questions like you guys asked. I asked questions about, you know, wrestling and their career. Yeah, oh, stupid questions like that. No, they're, they're never not. stupid. <laughs> no, it's like normal, midget Cronkite. <laughs> normal questions. Like what? What's a normal question? How about their careers and stuff like that? Wow. I gotta see that. You gotta yeah. send us the, the video. <laughs> yeah, thing. we want to run that on Howard TV. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? We gotta have a whole session of Eric interviews. We gotta yep. send him everywhere. Oh, All right, Eric. Sounds good, man. Glad you had a good time. Thank you. He's our Barbara Walters. Right. Bye for now. I love how he reluctantly says thank you. You, you can tell he's so pissed. Yep. Thank you. I guess I gotta thank them. Might as well. Yes, I am. Hi. You want to be laughed at by Eric the Midget? Artie. Oh, <laughs> well, what else well, can happen I mean, to you? I might as well, yeah. You're making out with Blue Iris, Eric the Midget's laughing at you? Well, I don't want you going off the deep end over the Yankees. No, no, no I'm, I'm fine. Let, let, him, let him throw. Go ahead. Hey, Eric. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> this is him laughing at this me? This is a, a chipper, Eric. <laughs> All right, Eric, have your way with uh, Artie. Let me have it, you A's fan. Yeah, my team is better than yours this year. I get my it. team actually made it past the second round. Let me remind everybody who's all wrapped up in this. None of these teams My are your team. team. 
Right. You guys you have nothing to do with it. You couldn't help that team do anything. Well, I'll tell you, I, in my case, though, I do have an investment in the Yankees at this point. God knows what I've dropped in that stadium. Well, Eric, go ahead. Give it to Artie. Well, one thing for sure, now that the A's, I guess, won't have the opportunity to embarrass the Yankees, I guess their next target is the World Series. Well, they're... they're Embarrassed the Mets. Well, Eric is really dishing it out this morning. Yeah, man. <laughs> Boy, Artie. You're a regular Don Rickles. You got to admit, Eric's a sweet guy. He he he's not even really. He's uh, not laughing at you. Well, uh, I mean, yeah. is that about of him being a sweet guy or I, a, a lack of wit? Maybe it's a lack of wit because I expect it here. He's not a mean guy. Yeah. Artie, you are a loser. Yeah. You gotta come at me a little better than that. Eric. Where are the voicemails I left on Will's voicemail? They were a lot better. <laughs> you, you what? You lost your venom? You ran out of venom. <laughs> what are you like? You're like a dictionary. Uh, C voicemail. All right. Uh, thank you, Eric. And and Eric really let you have it, Artie. <laughs> uh, uh, you're reeling over hey. there, aren't you? Artie, you were trying to get out, of, weasel your way out of this. Why should? They let you off the hook when they really have not let me off the hook for. Oh, he's gonna kiss boys. Dude, at least I have never welched on a bed in this on this fucking show or gone back on one thing I said I do. Uh, unlike you. Yeah, you ought to come in and fly while Artie's kissing Blue Eyes. That I would mean, be good. How many things? Can, how many favors can we do for you, motherfucker? Get in here and tie some balloons to yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. I'll be calling in Wednesday to talk to John Cena. I hope to be able to send the video footage. Yes, we're looking for that. Thank you. And by the way, your cartoon is airing on Howard TV. Have you watched it? I've seen it. I think it's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. And it does look like you, you got to admit. No, it doesn't. Oh, oh, it's so dead on. So captures him. You got to admit it looks like you. Come on. No, it does not look like me. This guy, I don't know how long that cartoon is, but it's a long cartoon, and he's he's with Tabitha Stevens and three minutes twenty five seconds. <laughs> you got to see it. It's on how. Look, doesn't that look like him? It does look like him. There's yeah. the character. Yeah, I love it. Does your chair look like that? That's a wild chair. No, it did not look like that. How many times have you watched the car? Boy, Tabitha oh. Stevens looks great in the cartoon. And you're yelling at her and she's got big titties. <laughs> Dude, I could have hooked you up with her. Oh, well. All right, thank you. There's a right. I'm, I'm looking at the, the cartoon drawing of Eric's room and there's a big... <laughs> There's a big uh, sign up there that says, I've got the McFever <laughs> for uh, Catherine McPhee. Right. Yeah, McPhee. Well, you'd be surprised. I don't even have, I actually only have two American Idol things. One is the autograph picture they all gave me last year when I met them, and then the other is the photographs of me meeting them. That's the only American Idol stuff I have anywhere in my room. You don't have the McFever is what you're saying. No, no he has McFever. He just doesn't have a thing. Uh, and then there's a tap of the peeing on uh, Eric's face, as you can see. And his wheelchair goes berserk. <laughs> All right, thank you, Eric. All right, talk to you Wednesday. Bye for now. But that kid who does that animation is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, uh, it's, it, and I forget. It's a Kevin something. Kevin Lofton. Yeah, he's good. Lofton. Oh, he's just terrific. <laughs> Hey, Eric, you're on the air. Oh, Eric the Midget. I thought it was just an Eric. I didn't realize. But Eric, you're a little chatty today. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I was calling back because I heard the interview that you did with the female from Smallville. In the female? The female from <laughs> What? The fact that you sent her, you know, away crying. Yeah, she didn't like the interview, evidently, but I, I really, honestly... I just don't think I asked her anything all that outrageous. It doesn't matter whether you asked her anything outrageous. It was her reaction. Yeah, she just she just didn't dig the interview. It's you know, but it's it wasn't. I would say it was very actually very pleasant and sweet. I thought the interview, and I and I really meant no offense asking her about her nude parties. I thought it was an interesting line of questioning, considering most people don't know who she is. You and kept, you, a month ago, you kept 
wondering why I would not want to have you guys interview Catherine. That's exactly <laughs> the Catherine McVie? Uh, I would I feel that you guys would the same result would happen. She'd be leave <laughs> in the place crying. Does no. she have nude parties? I gotta tell you something, Eric, in oh, my defense, it's... I've interviewed I'd say a hundred thousand women in my career. And I can count two Only people. how many have cried. Gilda Radner and this girl. And well, there might have been one or two others. Maybe. And all those women. So, you know, I mean, it's not like I'm a tard. I know what I'm doing. I mean, it's just like some people just have a bad reaction to my line of questioning. I'm sorry. Uh, oh. And I don't, and, and you know, my job is to sort of like find some interesting kind of life story about that person and talk to them about it. I had no idea that that, that was such a sensitive topic being like nude with your friends. Well, Honestly, I, know, I don't I understand. I, I wish I could ask her and say, what the fuck are you crying about? Get a grip on reality. It seems rather bizarre that you do that and you, you can't talk about it. Yeah, I didn't know it was taboo. I don't know. What's the big... I thought it was kind of fun and interesting and sort of like in line with how we sort of like to talk about sex or talk about, you know, behavior. I don't know. It was interesting. And, so, and I bet you Catherine McPhee has a better sense of humor than this. Most people have a sense of humor. They're like, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Let me tell you how it works. Eric certainly stayed tuned during the whole interview. I mean, this girl is on Smallville. She's not, you know, so Dame Edith Evans. She's on a movie that was, well, never mind. What? Never mind. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice movie. <laughs> it's a great film. I, mean, I don't know anything about it. I mean, I don't know. I didn't know that this was going to be the mind-blowing <laughs> event of her day. I mean, honestly. And, um. Well, see, with the fact of, um, Catherine recovering from bulimia, I'm sure that you guys would be pressing her about that. And so I what? Oh, that. we'd ask her about throwing up. So I'd what? love to know about that. <laughs> that would probably have the same result. No, I bet you it wouldn't. And oh. Everybody's so fucking sensitive. You could ask me about anything. I'll talk to you about anything. There's nothing in my life that would make me cry. You know, I mean, seriously. Well, uh, you know, we even found Artie's weak spot. So, I mean, it is possible. Oh, All fucking Artie's out of control. I mean, it's understandable. I mean, yeah, yeah. almost dead. I mean, I, I, I yeah, I'm, heroin I'm, addiction is a little different than her eyes showing her tits at a party. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Artie's 38 years old. He's still doing heroin. I mean, this, I got, this is a whole I mean, different... it's time for me to move on. Right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is a guy who should be crying. <laughs> and this, this woman is a hot chick on a TV show. She should be happy. I love Artie to death, but Jesus Christ, I got to get into some treatment. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's Artie again. It's Tuesday morning. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to make it in again today. I had a little bit of a relapse here. Artie snorts heroin. Artie snorts heroin. Artie snorts heroin. Artie snorts heroin. He snorts heroin just like cocaine. Cause he's so fat that he can't find a vein. Artie snorts heroin. Artie snorts heroin. Thank you. <laughs> Catchy tune. Yeah. Uh, Artie, is your name going to be on any other death pool? Are you right, talking about Eric. CSI Miami? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Eric, thank you. Is there any TV show you don't watch four <laughs> times a day? Yeah, really. Any more obscure what references? Else do? Let's talk to a little girl who's really in love with John Cena. Her name is Eric the Midget. Oh. Yes, oh, Eric. yeah. Oh, my God, I'm coming in my midget. <laughs> <laughs> I want to blow John Cena. Little did we know we should have had him fly to meet John Cena. No, but he was at the premiere. Yeah, I know. We he went, he went to the premiere in Camp Pendleton. I, I met know, him. I Eric. know. Eric. Eric. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> well, what do you want to say to John Cena? You're you're the, the man of your dreams. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> speak, Eric. Speak. He's speechless. He's shaking like a girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, what's going on, man? <laughs> Go well, ahead and seduce John Cena. Give it your best shot. <laughs> Good morning, John. Good morning, Eric. 
You're not doing such a good job. I'm, 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 I'm not thinking about you. You want to this Eric, you, you, you're, you're, you're choking. You wanted to get on with John Cena, I'm let, and you're not saying anything. What's that? Well, that's my other phone. I don't know why it's ringing it. You're blowing up, man. Are you Are you nervous? No. <laughs> I just, um, did have one question to ask about last night's ECW, because I know you got WWE's tied to it. Um... <clears throat> Why don't you tell him how you... Forget all that. Tell him about how you want to make love to him. I love him. <laughs> I want him to give me a... a Eric, Sanchez. Eric, you're choking, like, you're choking like the A's last night, Eric. Uh, Indeed. Yeah, real funny, Artie. Hey, they didn't do so well. No, they didn't. Your team is all unemployed right now, so, you know. Hey, do I hear you whacking it in the background <laughs> there? No. Are you I'm nude sleeping. holding your penis while you talk to John yeah, Cena? Yeah, Eric, that's not nice. Wait. I'm They're making me come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, they're, they're killing you, man. You got to stand up for yourself over here. I know. Go ahead, Eric. What is your question? Go ahead. It's a wrestling type question. Go ahead. Last night, ECW had the extreme split poker. Yeah. At the, end, at the end of it, both Maria and Candace were. Completely nude. Was that for real, or was did they just have have uh, like flesh color? Stuff? John, um, John, the question is: Is wrestling for real? John. That's uh, <laughs> World Wrestling Entertainment. Let me think about that. No, um, how do you the, answer that? I, I no one cares except that. No, believe it or not, I didn't get to see the ECW broadcast last night, but I know what. Making Eric a manager in the yeah. face. The uh, manager usually have to have a way with words. I, I think he'd have a short lived career. I think All it right. would be hysterical. You met Eric, he's a nice guy. He right? is a nice guy. Him, really Eric, uh, uh, John Cena says you're a nice guy. But go away. How can I do that, man? You got to stand up for yourself over here. With you. All right, Eric, we love you. Thank you very much for the call. And um, <laughs> oh boy, and, and, and it's good speaking to you. Yes, Eric. Yes, Eric. I was calling back because you kind of caught me off guard the way you started that. You said let's go to this female caller, and then you said Eric the midget, and kind of pissed me off. That's why I wasn't thinking straight. Plus. You weren't giving me a word in edgewise. Well, you're a horrible caller. I mean, I'm doing an interview. It's a fast-paced uh, show. People are, you know, listening to the show. And I give you an opportunity to talk, and you just kind of don't say anything. And I, I, well, I've got to worry about entertaining millions of people. I, I can't do the show for you, Eric. Okay, but... You want proof that I can actually ask questions? And then you ask, ask this obscure sort of very inside wrestling question about girls being naked, and even the guy thought it was a ridiculous question. He was kind of like, hey, I was watching. Was Eric, it it's real? show business. It's of course it's not real. It's the WWE. It's not real. It's, well, it's, it's a performance. You were, you were making me out to be gay. Hello, I'm straight. We know you're straight, but you're so gay for these wrestlers. I'm playing off on that, trying to desperately fill in the void when you don't say my anything. Eyes, my eyes were glued to every part of that strip poker segment. I wish you know, I could have been the dealer on the show while that was going on. Well, everyone knows you're straight. What strip poker? What is he talking about? I don't know. The ECW thing last night. <laughs> See, we don't know. Again, you, you're just impossible. You're a very nice guy, Eric. I like you. Don't get me wrong. But you don't have a really great sense of humor or an understanding of how the show operates. 
You know, the show is a funny show, fast paced. You got to joke around when you ask a question. It's got to kind of be inclusive. You ask very, very obscure questions. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But How did you envision it going? Uh, I mean, what were you going to say to John Cena? What was your follow up question to were the girls really naked on the WWE the other night? Well, I was going to say that this weekend I'm hoping to get to meet him with his friend Ray Mysterio. And then I, if I do, I'll g give Ray the DVD of my footage on the red carpet of the premiere of the Marine to give to John Cena when he sees him. Do you really think that's interesting to the audience? Well, not for the audience, but I was going to let him know that... Yeah, well, uh, uh, Eric, 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 you got to kind of... In other words, getting on the air on this show, there's a re there is a bit of a responsibility. You have to keep it entertaining. You understand that? Do you want? Yeah. If you want, I'll, I'll have Ralph explain it to you. No. Let him explain it to you. Since I don't seem to be getting through, go ahead. <coughs> Dude, Eric, listen to me. Do you have, I'm seriously, answer this question. Do you have any sense of humor? And do you, what show do you hear in your head? Because when you listen to this show, uh, what, what, uh, you don't seem to get it. You don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to fly around in balloons. You know it's a joke. Uh, you know, what do you hear when you listen to the show? Exactly what everyone else hears, but my sense of humor is not, I do not have a target painted on myself. Okay. Yeah, la I laugh at a lot of the other shit that is on this show, but when it pertains to me, I'm not going to laugh at it. So what what makes you laugh on the show? What do, what do you really get a kick out of? Some of the, the other jokes that are, you know, pertain to the other people that have to do with the show. So you don't think you don't think that somebody's getting a kick out of you in the same way you're getting a kick out of somebody else? You you can't you can't see that you're just as goofable as everybody else? I guess probably. <laughs> okay, in other words, you've got to imagine when you call in that you're not going to be treated with some sort of weird respect while everyone else is goofing and having a, a blast. I constantly get called a fag. I don't know why. <laughs> but, it, you know, also, it's got to be interesting. I mean, the, the world doesn't want to hear you talking to Cena about whatever the fuck you were trying to talk about. Yeah, I, I don't understand how he's Eric like, enjoys like, this show on any level because he doesn't seem to understand it. No, no he doesn't. I mean, okay, I'll ask you this. Besides last Tuesday and today, when else have I been able to talk to Cena about that stuff. No what? No mm, time. But, Eric, you got to realize nobody... You can't call a radio show to have that conversation. Yeah, yeah, Fred. Uh, uh, Eric, Eric, Fred, Eric, Fred I have you. one comment to make, and Eric, answer this. You have John Cena on the phone. Why would you talk to him about something that has absolutely nothing to do with John Cena? Oh, I, I was going to talk to him about... It. But that's what you should have come out that's... with. So we only have Dude, Eric. a week to decide on a question, and, and Eric, that was it. I don't, and, and not only that, I can't spend an hour with you on the phone with John Cena. I, I mean, you, you I messed up. You, you, you got you got to start off with your strongest uh, comment or question. You can't you can't start. Uh, everybody's not going to. And here you are, a John Cena expert, a and fan. you could have a fan, and you could have said to him, John, what was your most memorable match? Right, something quick. Do you shave your well, okay. oh. he kind of answered one of my questions before I even got on the air. I was kind of counting which, which on Which was what? What, what was, was your, your question? What, what was your big question he answered? Well, I was going to ask him, you know, if he had a crush on Kelly Carlson, but he answered that before I got on the air by saying that she was married. <laughs> so maybe then you hang up. But Eric, yeah, your question's gone. You move on. Yeah. yeah. Who cool. gives a shit who he has a crush on? <laughs> You know, Captain you know, Jenks. What do you know about him? Isn't he like a singer or something, Eric? Yeah, he, like for example, you, you could have helped me out. He has a rap song. Yeah, you could have. You could have. You know, thrown us something that Howard didn't bring up. Something maybe interesting about him. It's true because I forgot to play John Cena's there rap was a song. Rap song? Yeah, yeah, here it is. This is his rap song. Did you know about that, Eric? Yeah, he's got a whole CD. Wow. Hey, so you uh, called later. and asked about a strip poker game? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Hey, Eric. Here's what you should have done. You should have called and gone. 
Wait. Why aren't you a wigger? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ralph. You are a wigger. <clears throat> Ralph. Yes. Real quick. All right. The reason why I did bring up the thing with the divas was because the two that got fully nude last night were the two that were at the premiere of his movie. <laughs> so why did you just say to him, Eric? Why did you just say to him, "Hey, did you bang two of the chicks in the WWE named Blow and Blow?" See, Eric, you said that you were going to call last week. You were thinking about this question for a week. Captain Jenks, what do you want to say? Hey, good morning, Howard. You know, Eric kind of needs a translator, and from now on, when he calls in, we should never hear his voice on the air. It should always be Will asking the questions for him. Maybe you got to tell your questions to Will, and Will will come in and ask them. No, no, no. no I don't, I don't, <laughs> you don't want to miss point. Eric. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? When Eric will call in the next time, he'll still have an obscure question. <laughs> of course. I think the reverse. Eric needs somebody to coach him on what questions to ask. But we no, should no. never hear Eric's voice on the air again. It should all be Will. <laughs> an interpreter, like, like, what the, like the Koreans have when they go to the UN. Oh, like, why, why don't you try it now to see if it works, Howard? Uh, I don't even know that there's anyone that speaks, Eric. Uh, Kevin Lofton, you're on the air, who is the brilliant cartoonist who uh, made the cartoon that airs on Howard TV right now. Hi, Kevin. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, Howard, um, what do you think about the idea of uh, letting Eric write his own episode of uh, Eric the Midget cartoon? See what Eric, would up. you like to? Kevin is offering you oh, God. the opportunity to write your own Eric the Midget episode, and he will animate it. Anything you want, Eric? I could possibly think of something. <laughs> I don't know, Eric. After that question this morning, I would, for one, love to see that and, and, and see Eric come up with a script and then see it on Howard TV. I don't just, expect I, it to be funny. I just want to hear him pitching it to. Uh... Yeah, uh, that'll be great. All right, so Kevin, when uh, Eric is ready, he'll pitch it to you on the air. His idea. Yeah, whenever he's ready, man. Why didn't you make the, a cartoon of Eric uh, making love to John Cena? Yeah. Oh. Hey, well, I could make a cartoon oh. where he uh, bangs no. all those American Idol chicks. Hey, yeah, that's him? good. <laughs> hey, hey, Kevin. See, how you about, guys are coming up with the idea. How about John Cena peeing all over Eric? <laughs> yeah, after he bangs Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Give me a dirty Sam Jazz. Hey, Eric, how about if you build like your own John Cena like bodysuit and it's just your head coming out of it? Oh. You're going around, you know, banging all these chicks like John Cena. <laughs> How about, how about John Cena eats Eric and then shits him out? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the little intestine. <laughs> Finally, I get to be part of John Cena's shit. <laughs> hey, Eric. Did how you... about if John Cena uses Eric like a gerbil? Like he walks in the room and he's banging a fat chick, and all of a sudden John Cena just grabs Eric the Midget out of his chair and shoves him up his ass. Yeah, you know, you could play a Benoit ball. <laughs> Oh, man, is somebody writing all these down? Hey, man, these are gems. These are million-dollar ideas. Eric, the sex toy. <laughs> you, could wow. play, uh, you could play one of the beads in a row of ass beads. I bet you I could get John Cena to play himself. Oh, man. Hey, I just oh, stuck Eric. a midget in my ass. Yeah. There was no gerbil. You want to be Eric, the sex toy, now? I've Eric. never been in a superstar's house before. Eric, what do you think of that? I don't like any of those. Ideas. Eric, the human dildo. Hey, whatever you come up with, Eric, you know, I'll, I'll do it, man. Hey, Kevin, I don't know if you know this, but I want to give you a little statistic. Yeah. And uh, Howard TV is very, very highly viewed. There's there's many viewers, but Eric the Midget's cartoon is the most watched wow. episode on Howard TV, out, outstripping the girls, the, the uh, you know, Sal and Richard, Sibian, Sal and Richard uh, any of that stuff. And Doug has it buried. People have to hunt for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't even know what it's called. It, it literally is the, the big, uh, it's in the JD episode. So it, it, it's in there and it is the most viewed. Hey, from my point of view, I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm ready to do tons of these things. You're a hit, Eric. Eric, do you hear that? Yeah, I want it. Eric. Kevin, I need an episode where John Cena walks in the room and uses Eric as a gerbil. <laughs> you got to do it. My vibrating wheelchair. Yeah, man, let's do any of this stuff, man. My, I'm, ready. I'm in John Cena's asshole. Oh, oh, Eric the gerbil. Man. Eric the gerbil. And then they have to go to the ER to get him out. <laughs> yeah, they have to pull Eric out of John Cena's oh. asshole. <laughs> and then he pulls Eric out of his own ass and rubs... Eric, who's full of shit now on some girl's uh, <laughs> nose, and gives him a dirty Sanchez. He gets Eric out, but the wheelchair gets stuck. Yeah, then Eric's like, oh. We could call it a midget Sanchez. <laughs> and John C's like, I just gave a midget Sanchez. <laughs> Eric Sanchez. Eric, what do you think? Is that great? No. 
No. no. Come on, We just Eric. told you you got to get into the spirit of the show. Hey, Eric, if that was somebody else, would you think it was great? If that was like Richard Christie, would you think it was great? Or high pitch or anybody? Yes. I don't know. It depends. <laughs> I don't know. That's a yes, you little moron. Oh, don't, don't be nasty. I love him. Are you kidding? I know. Ralph loves Eric. Uh, hey, Eric, what happened? You re you interviewed John Cena at the premiere, and you, you, uh, you, you got video of it. Did you give that to anybody yet? No, the, the video I'm just finishing working on. But I sent an uh, audio what? file to Will, Richard, and Jason. You sent the audio? Yeah. Oh, we got to get that. Where out. is that? Where is that? Hey, Will and Jason, what's wrong with you guys? Where's where is Eric the Midget interviewing John Cena? That's an immediate. By the way, by the way in those interviews. None of us know where I that got... is. Never... Who'd you send it to? Even with all the background noise, not a single one of them ever had to have me repeat a question. They wow. all completely understood me. Wow. We not never. You morons. We never got it. A... I got to hear that. <laughs> we never got a tape. Who'd you send it to, Eric? I sent it to Will, Jason, and Richard as an MP3 file. Nobody got it, well, Nobody got it Gary? On an you know what's funny, too? The, um, the WWE guy was here, the publicist, and he said that um, on the red carpet, they asked him like 50 times, are you sure you have batteries in that thing? Are you sure you know how it's working? <laughs> yes, no problem. So he said, finally, one of the Fox people walked over because they could see that the light wasn't on, and they were like, the batteries weren't working. But he was insistent that it was working. Eric, you don't even know how to work your tape recorder. Oh, I got it working. We just forgot. No, they got it working. If they didn't come up to you, you'd have nothing. You know what I think would be cool for a cartoon thing? And tell me, tell me, keep this work for you, Kevin. Okay. So Eric gets a job at Dateline to surprise pedophiles, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like a, he's like a 12-year-old boy. Because he's so tiny in stature. With his voice, though, right? Yeah, with his voice. And then the pedophiles come in, and they see Eric, and they try to go for him. Can I have a hug? I think the guy doesn't get out quick enough. Yeah, I, I think Eric gets taken. They throw him out of the chair, bang him right in the ass. I think he runs out and never is with a little boy again. But how do we work in John Cena putting Eric up his ass? <laughs> well, John Cena. So John Cena's pervert. the pedophile. Right, John's oh, the pedophile. The, the host doesn't get out there quick enough, and John just pulls him out of the chair and sticks him up his ass. <laughs> And then he still gets a nasty Sanchez, I hope, with using I, Eric's uh, right. the shit all over Eric. I like I like what Gary says. He pulls him out of the chair. The chair doesn't go in him too. Right. Right. Oh yeah. No, no that wouldn't be realistic if a chair was in him. <laughs> yeah. I demand realism. Well, that that chair I gave Eric has all kinds of stuff. So I mean, it's got gun turrets, you know. It can yeah. do anything. I think Eric should go in body first, so his little head is just sticking out. His of His head ass. sticking out of the ass. Eric, have you watched that cartoon? Yeah. Yes, and I can't stand it. <laughs> Hey, Eric, you know what happens? I'm realizing you choke. Like, you get on the phone and you choke, and you're supposed to interview. You don't have batteries. It's a choke, man. You're, you're like the Yankees, man. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, Eric, uh, I do love you, and I really want you to realize when you call in to a John Cena, you got to sort of be prepared and, and have a question that's interesting and entertaining and get to it quickly, okay? That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right, next I, time. Better luck next time. I was wondering two things. Uh oh. <clears throat> hey, Howard, I got a One. split. But all, right, all right, Kevin, you. later. Hey, Eric, oh, you're wait. the man, okay? All right. What, what, Eric? I wanted to ask if Kevin Lofton was related to Kenny Lofton. Well, too late. I just hung up. Another on interesting question. Another one of those great questions. Did you hear nothing we've been saying to you the last half hour? Well, uh, Eric, I got to go. No. I, is, when is Brooke Hogan due to come in? I melt when I hear his voice. Brooke Hogan is due in. Okay. When is she due in, Gar? Do we know? She is coming in. Eric, you should start working on questions now. <laughs> I have so, hold on. It's coming up in like two weeks. All right, let me prepare you. What are your questions? Yeah. I, I have one because uh, a couple months ago I met her. And the VH1 cameras were there, and I was uh -oh. just wondering when that one was going to air. On. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. What is your question? I'm, pretend Brooke Hogan is here, all right? All right, I'm going to put her on with you. And here's your chance. Hello. Hi, this is Brooke Hogan. Hi. Hi, is this Eric? Yes. Did you see me in FHM? Yes. 
Did you like my body and my breath? I don't really want your father beating me up. But no, he won't. He likes you. I, midgets creep me out, but my father likes them. <laughs> hey, Brooke, why are you interviewing Eric? All right, go ahead, Eric. What's your question? I just wanted to know when the Hogan Knows Best is going to have um, you guys at the Hard Rock in Sacramento. <laughs> He didn't yeah. listen even what? when you told him that was a bad question. Eric. I don't want to say anything because I'm basically a nice person, but you're a boring fucking midget. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you look up TV Guide, you schmuck? Let me stick you up John Cena's ass. I'd like to see a cartoon with you up John Cena's asshole. <laughs> That's a bad question, Eric. Eric, 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 Eric. Eric. this is Howard. Uh, I'm here with Brooke Hogan over at the hotel. <laughs> and um, you've got to do better. you got to ask a better question. I'm going to give you a second chance, okay? Hey, Eric, is there anything about her that interests you that you would like to know interesting about her life, maybe her sex life? or? All right, let, let, let him try again. Go. <laughs> Hello? Brooke Hogan on the Howard Stern Show. Who is this? It's Eric. Hi, Eric. What can I do for you? <laughs> I, I know I'll come up with something between now and then. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Did your father go to wrestling school? All right, okay, so call me back when I'm on in, like, two weeks. When okay. is the episode of <laughs> the... With more time, I'm sure he'll come up with something more obscure. Hey, Ralph, maybe if you... I'll be Brooke Hogan, Ralph, and you do an uh, Eric impression so he can hear what he sounds like. We need, like, a Cyrano. All right, all right. Hi, this is uh, Brooke Hogan. Hi, Eric. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's too real. <laughs> Do you have a question? He <laughs> 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 show. <laughs> when you're filming, it's what kind of uh, camera do you use? <laughs> <laughs> even, a, <laughs> even an impression of him's bad. I bet it is. How is Hogan spelled? <laughs> <laughs> Eric, do you see what it sounds like when Did Ralph does it? you get the pictures I sent? Eric. Yeah, I heard. All right, so what did you think of your call in to Brooke Hogan when <laughs> Ralph was doing Were the Were you impression? dying to hear the answer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Did you like Ralph's question? No. Right. So that's my point. You're, you're, I'm allowing you to call in for anyone you want to. I'll even put you on with Brooke Hogan. But you've got to, <laughs> you've got to come up with a question. Do you like Hogan's heroes? <laughs> Are you related to Hogan of Hogan's heroes? Look, Eric, I'm going to ask you a question now, all right? Okay. F, F. Mary Kill. Brooke Hogan, Kelly Clarkson, John Cena. Ooh. Well, because I'm straight, I guess I had to put Ina in the kill department. Okay. Well, if you really feel that way. <laughs> and uh, I guess Kelly in the F and then Brooke in the Mary. Oh. Ah. Oh, what a couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brooke, I want to marry you. Oh. All right. Will you marry <laughs> I'm on my bended knee, can't you tell? Well, uh, very good, and uh, thank you, Eric, and, and I will put you through any time you want, but please use the airtime in a consistent manner where you ask good questions. I only hung up on you because I felt the audience was being bored. Eric, you should work up some questions uh, throughout the week and then call in and run them by Howard. You know what his question will now be? Brooke, did you hear when I did the F. Mary kill that I married you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got, you got, bring two, that up. you've got two weeks to prepare for your Brooke Hogan appearance. But ask him about how, how long it took him to airbrush her on the uh, in that FHM, Eric. You think that was airbrushed? Oh, please. <laughs> Stress, no. airbrush, manipulated, whatever they could do to it. No. Right, Eric? Well, when my roommate and I saw her, she looked pretty hot. I agree. I saw her here in person. She looked real good. 
All right, Eric, thank you. Ralph, thank you. I've, yeah. got, to, I've got to finish up the show now and uh, get to Robin with the news and John Hine and, of course, uh, the great uh, Steve... Uh, uh, Langford. Langford. Right. Oh, wait, wait, thank right. you. Wait, I have another question. What is your question? Mark Robin. You guys probably would not want me asking this. Robin, Robin, what kind you of guys gas any do you put in your car? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is your question, Eric? I wanted to know if you guys could ask when the DVDs of the seasons one through three are. Are supposed, or one through two are supposed to come out of Hogan Knows Best. <laughs> what was that? Oh, and you probably won't want me asking it. I wanted to know when seasons one and two of Hogan Knows Best will be on DVD. <laughs> right. Listen, Eric, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. i got to go right now. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. And, Ralph, thank you, and thank you, Eric. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye for now. The release date is... <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye. All right, bye, bye for now. I can't call Tower Records. Yes, Eric. Good morning. Good <laughs> morning. Uh, is this Eric? Eric the Midget. And then I get a break because it's an hour and a half. I haven't taken a break. <clears throat> well, I was listening to this whole thing. Why didn't Artie and Sal and Richard do a stand up standoff? I don't think I don't think Artie really wants to prove stand anything. Up, stand up. It's not it's about, about it's idea. not about who's funnier. That's not the point. Come on, you say Richard sucks. I, I don't say he sucks. I didn't say he sucks. You said he was green, that he exactly. needs time on stage. He's better than I was for doing it that long, that's for sure. All right, there you go. That's a nice compliment. That actually is the truth. I've heard what Artie says. To I don't me. even know what that means. He means that at this point in Artie's development, he wasn't as good as Richard. Exactly. What he said. That's what I'm saying. It's a compliment. What do you want, Eric? Well, I just wanted to say, um, you know, Say something about the weekend box office. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> the movies of Marine didn't make it into the top three. No, the Marine starring that wrestler guy. John, John Cena. Cena. John Cena. The wrestler guy, Cena. he'll now be known forever with us. <laughs> John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> <Dana. laughs> yeah, it, how much money did it make, Eric? Two dollars. I didn't. Get, they never reported on the news. They, oh, I think the last movie they reported was uh, Man of the Year, maybe right. number four. I think the number one movie was this uh, sequel to a horror movie with the Sarah grudge, Sarah yeah. Michelle Gellar. The Grudge, which was what Eric? The Grudge, the grudge Two. Too. No, let him say it. Oh. <clears throat> you say it, Eric. The Grudge too. <laughs> <laughs> God, horror movies are like just money making. What was movies. the second one? Second movie, I can't remember what. It's The, the Departed. The Departed, yeah, from oh, last oh, week. Yeah, that's right. What, Eric? The Departed. <clears throat> I want to re-release Beer League as a horror movie. <laughs> put some monsters in it. I'll put Mike, put it in a Mike Myers mask. It was horrible. Just say boo in your movie. This, I think, is part of Eric's plan to be a movie reviewer. I know what the Marine made. How much? And it was number six this Oh, week. God. It made $7 million. And that was a film that was produced by M Ants McMahon. Come on, Stern fans, please go see the movie. Uh, Are you rallying the troops? What what is it, Eric? I mean, like you want Why the movie. Why do you care if this movie makes money? Yeah, how's it going to affect your life? Because I'm in love with John Cena. <laughs> no, I'm not. Lick his ball, bag. Cena. I want to lick his taint and ball. The WWE is just a really good company, and I'd like to see them have success in the movie business as well as the wrestling business. 
<laughs> it got zero stars from the critics. <laughs> yeah, well, Eric, did you like the movie? Yeah, it's a real good movie. What's so good about it? No, I like action movies, and it's a real good action movie. I was able to masturbate to John Cena. <laughs> John Cena <laughs> the is was sh empty. shirtless. Shirtless. Is he shirtless? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, baby. Oh. Can you see his body good, Eric, in it? I didn't pay attention. So you don't know if he had a shirt on or not? I was staring at his package. Pretty sure he did for the whole movie. 93 minutes of the hottest man I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to see him as a Marine or wrestling around with another guy more? <laughs> I fantasize that I'm Triple H and he has me pinned. <laughs> Was he wrestling with other Marines? <laughs> <laughs> I fantasize that I'm a nurse and he pins me down. <laughs> John Cena is the perfect man. Would you like him to pile driver you? All right, thanks, guys. I got to go take a break. That's the men. All right, Eric, thank you for the movie review. Okay, bye for now. I want to talk box office. Don't you want to be the movie reviewer, Eric? Yeah. What well, would that sound like, gorilla. Ralph? If uh... I saw the the Arden. <laughs> the the Arden? Uh, with <laughs> Ac Eccleston. <laughs> he wore his shirt most of the the movie. <laughs> I didn't get to see his package. See, Ralph, wouldn't that be fun to do out of your apartment as well? <laughs> yeah. see? Thank you, uh, guys. All right, Eric, thank you, and uh, thank you, uh, Ralph. And remember Eric's uh, message that everyone should go see the uh, movie with John Cena, the Marine. The two people that we talked about uh, also being in the contest were Eric the Midget and uh, Jeff the Drunk. Uh -huh. So I couldn't get a hold of Jeff, but I have Eric on well, the why phone. Why don't we give Elliot... An hour to cool okay. down. Sometimes he gets completely crazed. Let him think about it. Let him relax. I just love when Jeff the Drunk hears this replay later. What? You were going to call me? <laughs> I was at that godforsaken like job. How, how wild is it? We can't get a hold of Jeff because he's at work. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Where he listens to the show, he said. But he's on his. He's on route probably right oh. now. <laughs> Eric, I'm not guaranteeing. I'm not guaranteeing any. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but you might be in the pool. But I'm. I can't say right now. What would he bring to the pool? Okay. Yeah. What would you bring to the pool? Utter boredom. He, he picks the Oakland Raiders every week. Are you going to pick the Oakland? I know they're a bunch of losers. They can't. They haven't won a game yet. I wouldn't pick them. Who would be your pick this week? Probably Indianapolis. What's the spread, though? Do you know what's the, who they playing and what's the spread already? You got it here, wait. <laughs> like what is, and how would throwing it shit around would in my argument with Alice? Would he have to start with Elliot Offen's record? I would think he ha he has to take over Elliot's record. Yeah. But okay, he, listen, he's in the contest. He'd be, he'd be tied with Artie, two and four. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. That could be. Elliot's actually not doing so bad. You know, and the funny thing with Elliot, too, is I tried to explain to Elliot that if he doesn't you know, remain part of the contest that he's not going to be able to plug his tape for the remainder of the season, at which point he told me, fuck you, I have more money than you can imagine. I don't need your fucking money and, you know. Uh -huh. Wow. Well, uh, what are we going to do? Is Eric going to take his pick? Because the, well, cult, the cults are giving I'm nine. Wait to the, the cults nine. are giving nine? Ooh. Let Eric make his pick. For future reference, Eric, for instance, Eric, you definitely want the cults to give in nine to the Redskins. You like that? Yeah, that sounds good. Huh? All right. So Eric's not in the contest, but if he is, I have his pick. Okay, good. All right, Eric, thank you. Okay. <laughs> you know, he might be good. He might be good. You don't know. He could work out. Well, I'm sorry to see Elliot go. Yeah. Should we let Eric the Midget ask one question before the song? Oh, where he no. has a question of Hulk, where's Eric? Maybe. Yeah, he loves yeah, sure, Hulk. Do you mind Hulk talking to Eric no, the Midget? No, where's Eric the Midget? Eric. Good morning. Hi, Eric. Go, Hi, Eric. I'll let you ask one question. If you, I told you to practice the question, and don't screw it up. Here we go. <laughs> go ahead. I was just wondering if um, you had any plans of working with any other producers in the future. You know, if there's any other producers that you would like to work with. Um, you know what? Well, so far I've been working with Scott Storch and with a guy named Steve Morales, and they did my album that's coming out tomorrow. 
But um, I'm you know I'd love to work with different people. Maybe like Pharrell or Timberland. You know, you never know. So. All right, there you go, Eric. You asked a question, yeah. you got an answer. Yay. Good job. You practiced. Thank you, Eric. That Very wasn't good. bad. That was good. Right. That he was sounds really so good. nice on the phone. Yeah, he's, he's a little right. shithead. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, Eric the Midget is pissed again. Here is Eric the Midget. Uh, well, this message is for your big nose, retarded ass boss. Listen up, you piece of shit. <laughs> Johnny and I tried to call you Thursday yesterday and today all three damn days you left us on hold for hours on end you ignorant retarded piece of shit stop doing that Johnny wanted pr to promote his pasta sauce oh, and sorry. I wanted to actually do something called agreeing to the balloon stunt but you could fuck that idea <laughs> No fucking way I'm doing that. You've been leaving me on hold for that long. I love this. My song. little white ass, you big nose piece of shit. Bye. Bye for now. I love when he gets mad. Oh, I love it. What I, The way he starts off is just brilliant. I love when uh, Eric the Midget's pissed. But I, I saw those guys on Johnny's on the phone with Eric. It's a whole fucking deal. I didn't. Yesterday we had a huge show, busy right. show, and it's like I, I can't get to it. So hang up. You don't have to stay on hold. Eric the Midget, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Artie. I heard a few minutes ago Robin make a comment about your uh, pork shank coming to the table. She's and it. Why they let or how they let that pig at the table? Well, they let you there. You're a pig. Eric, oh. nice. Oh, Ooh, wow. Eric's been trying out some roasting jokes. <laughs> All right, Eric, thank you. Way okay. to put down Artie, man. You're really on fire today. You're you're killing me. Yeah. I mean, you know, stop it. Let's go to Eric the Midget. Eric, you're on the air. Good morning. Good morning, Eric. I've been trying to get on the air for weeks. I know it's hard. We have a lot well, of phone you callers. you must have something very important to say. I was going to say, well, how come you, you should call in? Well, I've been calling in, and I've been left on hold every day. Yeah. So what have you been waiting to say all this time? Well, just that I will agree to do the balloon stunt. What? <laughs> Nobody cares now. See you later. I agree to do the balloon stunt. Really? You want to be floating on with balloons? Yes, in your studio on... January 9th, 2007. No stipulations. Just that I would just like to go to uh, the Billboard Awards this Monday night and also be on the TV show Heroes. Oh, forget oh. about it. All right, I'll, I'll pick up the phone in another three weeks. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Your show Heroes. That is a and good I was show. Like, oh, Billboard Awards. Okay, we can get him in there. Right. And I want to be on the show Heroes. I just hung up on him. How about the show Homos? <laughs> you want to float with balloons? What do you need to do? What do I need to do? I need a million dollars and unmarked bill. <laughs> in a suitcase left under a bridge. Uh, uh. <laughs> get that off my was phone. funny. And on the TV show Heroes. No. Anything else? <laughs> He'd be good on Heroes. It would be cool if he was a super guy What with would his power. power be? I don't know. Like... Annoyance. <laughs> He's already that. Eric, uh, you want to float with balloons in my studio? That's great news. No stipulations? Not really. All I want is a colony built for me on Jupiter. <laughs> a colony built for you on Jupiter? Yes. What I am indicating is I'll need oxygen, <laughs> 10 years supply of food. With the weightlessness I'll experience on Jupiter, I will experience flight. <laughs> also, I would like a village built for my height, height appropriate for Eric the Midget. Let me get this straight. In order to float you with balloons, I've got to build a rocket ship, get you to Jupiter, build a height appropriate village for you, and a and, and, and living environment. Yes. <laughs> All. I want a gassed up G4 for me at JFK. I want Catherine McVeigh to receive my seed on her face also. <laughs> Any um, stipulations. 
Eric the Midget wants to say something very quickly. Well, where's he been, man? Uh, he's been around. He's been calling, but he said that he had demands and all kinds of things. Eric, well, quickly, go ahead. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> what, Eric? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, Eric. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> Eric. What's Eric? We can't hear you. Eric's under siege. Now. <laughs> it's a tough morning. What's up, Eric? Right around the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yes, Eric. <laughs> That's what happens on the show. You're driving, there's an interception. Now it's coming back again. Eric, are you there? Yes, if you'd shut the noise. <laughs> oh, come on, Eric. Quickly, Eric, because I, I haven't taken a break in an hour and 31 minutes. Go ahead. Okay, well, I wanted to tell you that Saturday night I'm going to be going to see Josh Blues. He's just at one standing. Eric's the worst caller. Awful. He tells I you where he's going. I don't care about that. Hey, Eric, want... way to raise the show to grinding halt. I want you to now. I'm going to Joss Blue. Wait, seriously, seriously, Eric, who are you going to see? Joss Blue, the comic that won last comic standing. And why do we want to know that? Yeah, who cares? Because Eric's trying to angle his way backstage. Well, something. that's what I want. That's what you really no. want to say. You know no. who Josh Blue is? He's he's got cerebral palsy. Oh, he's oh that, great. that guy with. Oh, the, I'm bringing all my friends. By the way, everybody that ABC thing last night, Ralph and Robin, everybody was on. Did you oh, see that? Yeah. It ended up being a nice oh, thing you're for. Kidding. Even the, well, hold um, off talking about the killer that. be killed yeah. was on. I do want to ask you about what it. What ABC thing? All right, goodbye. I gotta go. Ralph I gotta take was a break. Star and he doesn't know you it. guys should change the topic too much. We were on television. Uh, where are you? Uh, oh, hang. John, stop. Well, Eric just called in to say he's going to see that comedian. Yeah, just telling us his schedule for Saturday night. The other day he said, the other day he calls in and he goes, I want to fly with balloons. I go, okay, that's cool. We'll, we'll fly with balloons. But I want, what do you want? Was I you? have a couple of demands. Yeah, yeah, what were the demands? I hung right up. He wanted, one was not so bad. One was, uh... I want to be Something. on the show Heroes. But that was the second one. Yeah, he hit wait, us wait, with wait. a softball and wait. then hit the home run. Right. Wait, Eric, you want to be on Heroes? Heroes, and what was the other one? Yeah, what was your other demand? What do you want? Wait, wait, wait. What do you want to be oh. on Heroes? Well, even if I was just on Heroes, just as a person I, you know, come across, I'm not asking them to be on the show to be one of them, but I just. You know, as an extra or some extra with a couple online. Oh, Eric, no, you, you have to what? have powers. Eric, you know what? I I'm love you, but you, you know what? You're fucking annoying. Like, why would they put you on fucking Heroes? Oh, no, he just thinks I, I have the, door, the key yeah. to show business like, and I can do that. He watches that show, so he's going to call you and go, and well, you, you won't fly with balloons, but you want Howard to get you on fucking Heroes. Well, that's the deal. He will fly with balloons if we get him on Heroes and something else. What was the other thing? What was the other demand? Well, the other thing aired last night, so that's kind of off the, the out of the question. It was the Billboard Music Award. Oh yeah, he wanted oh. to go to the Billboard. Music Award. <laughs> Another thing nobody's watching. I think he wanted to host the Billboard. Yeah. Music Award. And then it's he like, heard that Paris and and uh, honestly uh, though, Britney stepped down. I, I watch Heroes. How great would it be all of a sudden, like one week they cut to just. Eric. You know what? If, if Look, he, Eric he should have powers, and that guy should cut off his head. All right. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, like, Eric just, like, whips by his wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> he should be in that big explosion. I want to be on Heroes as a superhero well, named Keychain. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I, I want to be on with my super-powered wheelchair. Thank the chair leader save the world. Save, not <laughs> yeah. save the midget, save the world. You know, I know we got a break, and I just want to get you. I got to go. This wanna... hour and 40 minutes was a study of how this show works. Yeah. Right. I yeah. just want to get you excited about the next thing that's going on. So, Marshall Silver, the hypnotist, took uh, Richard, Sal, JD, and Ronnie right. in the green room. Yeah. So, sit in my office, and all of a sudden, I hear him go, Okay, when I snap my fingers, you will laugh uncontrollably. And the room just started shaking. Oh, they're all, apparently, they're all hypnotized. I bet, because they're all stupid. See, that's why I don't want that. Why do you let yourself get hypnotized? i got to run the show.
I love that Ralph thinks that you're stupid if you get hypnotized. No, absolutely. Robin got Howard, hypnotized, Howard, and she's Howard smart. could not be hypnotized because he's too smart. Robin no, couldn't. Howard. Couldn't. I don't know if it's a smart. Uh, Robin smart. was. Hold on, hold on. Hypnotized. Robin was hypnotized. Not really. Yes, yeah, she was. She wouldn't let go of the can. It was oh, years ago. Right, yeah. yeah, I was a little hypnotized. Fred was hypnotized. <laughs> yeah. what, I'm stupid. what does it have to do with, if not intelligence? I think it has more to do with whether you let yourself go. Exactly. Right, here's, you go along with it or you here's don't. What, here's the agenda. Eric, we have no time for you today. Let me tell you what the agenda is, oh, Eric. Oh, no. The agenda is we come back, we play, we play some of the candidates for Funniest Porn Club because they're really good. Yeah. Come back. Let, let Marshall come in. I've got about ten things I need him to do. With uh, those guys hypnotized. And we have to have to give this trip away today. We have this trip to the Playboy Mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And I got a game for that. We'll do that. All right. Eric, I got to go, okay? Oh, have, have, have a good time Saturday night. Wait. What? Howard. What? John Cena. You, you do have connections to that show. No. Watch it. Show. But no. Watch heroes. Uh, How do I have connections? One is your business. This manager, Don Buckwall, he managed the careers of a couple of the actors on that show. Yeah. The other <laughs> and they'll tell him to fuck off when uh, he calls sure. up and says, we need to get Eric the midget on we'll there. We'll call you when we need a midget. Everyone's walking sure. off. You might be the biggest hey. ingrate ever. Why save, would we do this again for you? Save hey. Catherine yeah, McPhee. Save, save the world. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the last time I got him into that stupid fucking American Idol concert, I took too long to get back to him. He left me the nastiest message. If this is a fucking joke, then go fuck yourself. And it's just like it took me an extra day to get back to him, and he's yelling at me. Why would anybody do anything for you? Eric, would you fly fly with balloons on heroes? Like if they flew you across the... I'm uh... balloon man. <laughs> I'm, I, since birth, I can master balloons. That would kill two birds with one stone. If would, you you flew, would you fly with balloons on heroes, Eric? I don't know. Probably. Possibly. <laughs> well, you know what? You're a big pain in the ass. You can't get a straight answer. Yeah, see, the it. problem is, is exactly, there's a million guys in wheelchairs behind you who will just say they'll do it. Uh, uh, I don't know. No. What? Uh, uh, wow, well, shut the fuck up for a minute. <laughs> 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 All right, quickly, Eric, i got to go. go I have an quick. agenda. What, what, what? My audience demands that I stay on target. <laughs> Yeah, your audience wants to hear his commercial. <laughs> your audience demands commercials. <laughs> what is it? An hour and 38 minutes now, Eric, with this. Quickly. Okay, if Ralph would shut the fuck up and let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. The other, the other connection that you have to the show is George Takai is going to be playing the father of the Japanese guy. Yeah, but George Takei finally got a fucking job in Hollywood. Yeah, he has trouble getting hired. Yeah. He's going to now drag you in? I don't know that he has much sort of negotiating power for you. Eric, let me ask you a question. So you think George Takei is going to get a little fucking role on the show and he's going to, like, talk to the producers so they get fucking the little midget in the wheelchair on? I have a demand. And he's not going to jeopardize it. Do you know how many parts there are in Hollywood for 70-year-old Asian fruits? <laughs> <laughs> Not many. He, when the camera pans down, he's going to have Eric on his lap. <laughs> oh, my. It's my alter ego. The other reason I call is, you know, you guys get on um, I gotta go. Richard's case about the All right. word. All right, I got to go. Uh, call me tomorrow. No, no, no. Let him finish, Howard. All Please. right, go ahead. Please. Stop, stop using over and over again the word midget. That word is as bad as nigger is. He's a midget! He's a midget! You're a midget! Eric. Wait, Michael Richards is screaming something. Let me hear what he's saying. He's a midget! You're a midget! Midget! Yeah, but you see, it's different with black people. Right. Who's scared yeah, of midgets? <laughs> Eric, Eric, seriously, do you think nigger and midget are the, are the same? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Eric, I, Eric, I actually did Eric, I conducted an experiment. I went out one day and I tried both. <laughs> There's a huge difference, dude. Yeah. yeah you know what? If Midgets you aren't going to beat you up. Niggers <laughs> will. Oh, thank you. Ralph. Jesus, Ralph. <laughs> Ralph is such a mess. Uh, wow. He's digging that hole. <laughs> he's digging that Ralph yeah, hole. He wants to go live with Michael Richards. He's already had a nice house. Eric, you're crazy, man. Uh, no, I'm not. What, what, what downtrodden slavery possible issues have you had? Midget's is just a word. All right, I gotta go, guys. A degrading, demeaning word. How, how about dwarf? Uh, you guys take this up later. Yeah, Goodbye. we'll put you two on hold and talk to each other. Call, call Ralph. He wants right, to talk what? to you about All right, both of them are gone.
One of the things I did for today's show is uh, uh, the guys and I were talking and we wanted to, you know, Eric the Midget was begging me to be on Heroes. Could I get him on Heroes? If you do another nice thing for him before he flies on with balloons. No, no, that's not what this is about. Uh. In fact, I, you know, he asked me to be on Heroes. I go, what are you, crazy? Uh, you know, uh, by the way, hi, Eric. Good morning. Yeah. I, so I said, what are you, crazy? I can't get you on Heroes. And he goes, well, George Takei is on your show. And now George, I said, George Takei can barely get on Heroes. It's exactly. Luke that he's we had on trouble there. getting him on. Yeah, right. So George Takei is on there. I said, we can't get you on Heroes. So I did something really nice for this, this uh, fellow here, Eric the Midget. Uh, you did? We wrote a script for him and George to act in. Oh. Together so we could hear Eric and maybe the people from audition, Heroes. An audition kind of thing. Now, does he speak Japanese? No, no, no. We, we did it in English just so he could practice his acting. Ah. And now I understand you're angry about the script and you are so ungrateful. He won't even do this. No. He's, such a He's not a real player. actor. Go ahead, Eric. Respond. This script looks like crap. I haven't even seen the script. What does it look like? Well, what are you doing? What do you mean it's crap? It looks like crap. What are you talking it's about? It's a script. Yeah, Stuart, I'm tired of you and your show playing me off as a bad guy. You play a villain. I gave you superpowers. Oh, those are great roles. Actors love playing. Oh, he's he's, he's 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 infantile. This guy. He he wants to be an actor, but he wants the, all the roles to be nice. He's the villain. He hasn't even had a, more than a half a part yet, and he's demanding to be I a want, hero. Uh, Actors right. would die to to play a villain. A super villain. Yeah. Uh, those are great what, roles. Tell, tell George your name in the script. Kinky Winky. Teensy Weensy. Come on. Wow, what a great idea. It sounds like a character out of James Bond. Yeah. Yeah. He's Teensy Weensy. Come on. And he's complaining, and it's just like, you're a pain in the ass, Eric. Just do your script, and that's it, and and really get into it. Actually, his name is Teensy Weensy the Terrible. Yeah. What if this had actually come from the producers of Heroes? He wouldn't be complaining. Oh, yes, he would be. Oh, yeah. I want to play a good guy. He, he's teensy weensy the terrible, and he's tr- demanding of George to get him tickets to American Idol, so he can ba- so he so he can be with Kelly Clarkson. I can't get tickets to American Idol. Oh, it's in the script. script. It's the oh, oh, it's a oh I see. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even seen the script myself. I'm going to be doing the code. But yeah. we don't worry so much about you. We worry about Eric. You want to do it or not? Give me 24 hours and I'll take them. Oh, Jesus. No, you don't have 24 hours. You don't sound like an actor at all. Uh, This kid wants to act. I give him a good script, and the next thing I know, he can't do it. Does he even take lessons? Do you take acting lessons? No. That's why you're nervous. Oh, Johnny told me to tell you that he was on hold to tell you that he was on or will be on 1 versus 100 on January. The 19th, but you left him on hold, and he got pissed. Yeah, well, what is with you two calling in together? Just call on your own, and let Johnny call on his own. He was calling on his own. I'm calling on my own right now. You left him on hold for 40 minutes. And do you want? Do you want to do the script or not? You want to try this? I, I'll do the announcer part. George will play uh, uh, his part. They just handed me the script, and you've got a great mm. card, Eric. It's a wonderful role you've got. Dude. I'll try it tomorrow because I got so PO'd with the script I didn't really... Why, cause you're why are you PO'd? Why are you PO'd? You don't even know why you're PO'd. Tell George. Because the fact that I'm tired of your list, no think of me, of me as a bad guy. I'm right in me. No, bad. no, no. You're an actor. He's He's thinking of you as an actor, and you got to... Find that character in you. That I know, but there, there is over 1,000 people that I have blocked on my space for writing me messages because they hate me. So what? Who cares? You know why they hate you? It was It's not our scripts. You know, you sound like Bill Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You are so picky <laughs> and so doing. egocentric. I mean, you're an actor, aren't you? Or are you? You want to be Eric the actor, and yet you're... So act! So act! We we know you're a nice guy, but you're playing a bad guy. 
an evil guy find that in you? Or you're create not, that? You're not too big. It shouldn't be hard to find something. In <laughs> <laughs> There's not many places to look. Honey. I'm, I'm Teensy Weensy the Terrible. <laughs> Are you objecting to the fact that you're you're playing a small guy? He's a small guy. That's what am I supposed to do? Yeah, George but you know, I'm playing an Asian. Complaining a about being an Asian. Right. Hello? Do one of your lines right now, Eric. Eric, are you there? We got music, Robin, and sound effects. It's a big production. It would be beautiful. Yeah. That's his power chair. People would love you if you embraced something. You've got to throw yourself into it. All your creative powers, well, your I imagination. Told you, I told you guys already on 1907, I will embrace doing the balloon stunt. And to answer Shuley's question, I will appear at the Sacramento Comedy Show on January the 5th. We don't even know what you're talking about. I never know what he's talking about. But do you live in Sacramento? Yes. Oh, that's my mother's hometown. She was born there. That's two things that I will be doing for All the right. show in the next month. That's Eric. not. You're not embracing it, though. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, tomorrow, call in, and we'll do this with George, and we'll have a, a little uh, acting thing with you and George, all right? Fred, turn it off. <laughs> I'm game for it. Are you? I'm getting you George Takei, one of our, America's greatest actors, and, and you're sitting here bitching. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now go back and practice and show us what you got yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, be good tomorrow. And if you're any good, maybe you will end up on Heroes. Goodbye. I, uh, yeah, think I, of this as an audition. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, the audition I had to do for Mr. Prince was a lot better than this. All right, well, just... Stop evaluating and just do the role you get. Did you get the part? Get. He got the part. I got him oh, the part. well, you're lucky. There you are. All right, thank you. Um, bye. <laughs> bye for now. <laughs> Not every role was streetcar for Brando. Yeah. <laughs> Leo, uh, or Lee, you're on the air in San Diego. Yeah, I saw that island of Dr. Moreau. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, our script is better than that. <laughs> Lee, go ahead. Eric the Midget, by the way, later, let me just get a hold of him. He has agreed to act with George Takei. That's right. I did my homework last night. Hey, Eric, you mind if I call you back in the 8 o'clock hour after Martha Stewart and we'll do the uh, script? Okay. All right. Looking forward to your acting debut. I've been rehearsing at the hotel for you, Eric. What in the world are you talking about? Acting debut? Yeah. I was on American Dreams. That was my acting debut. No, your acting debut on here. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. That We're is... very precise here. Yeah. All right there, Eric. I'll see you in about uh, 45 minutes or so. Is he excited about this? Uh... Didn't sound it. You're going to be acting with Mr. George Takei, who is a star of the TV show Heroes. Uh, this is a very yeah, exciting if you impress moment. impress him, maybe he will do something for you. You're very lucky. I, if I'm impressed, I will put in a good word uh, with uh, Tim Kring, who's the uh, creator of uh, Heroes. Yeah. He also created uh, Crossing Jordan. Don't try to one up, Mr. Takei. Just answer the question. To say yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, don't one up him with a horrible Crossing Jordan <laughs> reference. Clearly a low light of the man's career. Yeah, just say thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, Eric, we'll call you back. Okay. All right, Eric the midget. <laughs> I mean, Eric the actor. That's right. The yeah. actor. Sure. Now we can say that. You want to uh, try the script as we go out with Eric the midget? And George? Yeah. I just got, I got a piss real quick. Go <laughs> piss. I'll, go, I'll do this. I, I, I just, I, I figured while George is here, we'd get an opportunity to do it. Uh, I'm I just dying to do it with... All right. Eric. It might bomb horribly, but here we go. This is where we'll Eric... give it our best. Eric finally gets to play an evil super... <laughs> that you? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Why do you sound so pained? <clears throat> I really don't feel like doing this shit. Then let's not well, do let's it. Let's not do it. All right, bit yeah, over. You're no Goodbye. Robin Williams keeping yeah. yourself no, up. So I was trying to help you get in with George Takei so you could act with him, and I know you wanted to be on Heroes, and he's on Heroes, but screw you. Well, if you're going to do it, you've got to do it with commitment yeah, and enthusiasm. Yeah, no, you no, can't do it like that. I don't want him suck. to do it. No, I'll do no, it. No, it's okay. You suck. All right, I'll talk to you later. No. Thank I'll you. Bye-bye. Bye, Major.
Howard. What? I'll do it. Don't do me any favors. I was doing this piece of favor to you. George Takei worked with the script all night. I did. I did my homework last night. Did you? I prepared. Did you, Eric? No. Yeah, what kind oh, well, you can't you know be an actor like it. that. You've got to, you know, when you get on the set, you've got to know your lines and be ready to, you know, go with the other actors and hit your marks and all that. You can't just walk on and say, I'm an actor. All right, well, let's give it a try. Now. I'm not going to sit here and okay. fight over it. Turn off your radio, Eric. Sits and listens to himself. Yeah. Eric, turn off your radio. All right, hang on. Jesus. You're not ready in <laughs> any way. The last three phone calls, he's got the radio going in the background. Yeah, he's in a wheelchair. It's going to take him an hour. <laughs> By the way, Charlotte's Web's a live action, not a cartoon. All right. Oh, so Oprah's playing a person? No, she's playing the voice of a live goose. Oh, A okay. real goose. All, right. All the animals, with the exception of Charlotte the spider, are live animals. Who? Sh Sorry. <laughs> That's my anger. Right, here we go. Hang on. You've heard of the TV show Heroes, the show where ordinary people get extraordinary powers. Now, get ready for an extra, extra, extraordinary episode of Heroes with George Takei. That's me. Also, Eric the Midget. Oh, this I can't hear him. What was that? Eric the actor, you big nose fuckhead. Oh, yeah. In an episode of Heroes that you soon won't forget. I am a hero. My name is Wang the Wonderful. And I have telepathic powers in my Wang and Balls. I can feel evil through my Wang. I feel there is a shadow of evil lurking. I feel its presence. I feel doom. I feel... Hello, Wang the Wonderful. Oh, hello, little boy. Are you lost? I'm not a little boy. I'm Teensy the Terrible. No, you're not. You're Eric the Midget. Would you like to see my Wang? Put that away, you stupid jerk. I'm Teensy the Terrible. I'm an angry criminal with a hair-trigger temper. Listen, Wang the Wonderful. You better get me backstage at American Idol or I will blow up the world with my nuclear-powered chair. I'm arming it now. My Wang is sensing anger. You seem to have a low tolerance for frustration. Fuck you. I'm going to call on the phone right now. I want Kelly Clark in, in front of me right now. Naked supposed to say i'm not saying that uh, well, you, you can't are. change the, uh, the he's changing the script, script. <laughs> it's uh, it's fiction eric it's not really gonna happen How, he's doing you're playing a character do it's you understand you. what's going on here in the in the in the film not really me neither <laughs> you can't change the script he's lost all the narrative. what he's lost all the narrative he's, uh, he's just enough with this up. acting all right thank you eric <laughs> i guess no hero sure. for you it didn't go well by the way, I did America and Dreams without really doing much reading of the script, and I did it all in one take. Notice they didn't call you back. Yeah, yeah it looked it. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> all right, thank you, Eric, and have happy holidays. Next. You too. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do well, did he, George? Oh. I'm afraid uh, he didn't pass the screen test. <laughs> all right, thank you, Eric. Eric did try. Another though. blown opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> you get only one chance in this business. Your, your new name is Eric the Insanely Untalented Actor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. Better luck next time, and we'll see if we can get you some acting roles next year, okay? Thank you. Have All a right. good holiday. Same to you, Eric. Eric uh, the Actor. Yes. <laughs> and the Untalented. I like <laughs> Eric the Untalented. Hey, Eric. You're up for um, maybe best moment of the year with your uh, flying with balloons. Oh, great. That's awesome.
Congratulations. He didn't even do it. Not everybody gets nominated. I I know. (laughs) He's such a dynamic person. I know. What can we do for you? Did you call in? Yeah, I was calling in to talk to you guys because of the fact that Friday night I'll be with uh, Sal, Richard, Shuley, Bob, and, of course, Yucko and Beetlejuice. Oh, these guys are real excited. They were talking at the gig New Year's. Richard is going to meet Eric at a gig in uh, California. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you on stage performing? No, I'll just be... uh, My job, according to Shuey, is to introduce him at the start. Oh, so you're part of the Killers of Comedy show. Right. You're like one of the MCs. Right. Holy cow. (laughs) Wait till everyone gets a load of you. Do you have a little material? Are you... uh, What are you going to do? (laughs) Oh, wow. <laughs> what are you going to uh, say on stage? Well, I'll just introduce Shuey. It's all about it. Well, he... you got to tell everybody who you are first. Hello. I'm Eric the Actor. <laughs> you know the crowd's going to yell at you if you call yourself Eric the Actor. You're going to have to call yourself Eric the Midget. I'm not going to do that. No, you're going to get a lot of shit up there. I'm oh, telling no. you. Can you turn off your radio? When did you start doing that? That's been happening a lot. I thought I turned it low enough for you not to hear it. No, we, no hear it. we hear it at all. This might be a chance for you to get laid being on stage. Chicks, <laughs> chicks look at a guy differently when he's on stage. And you know how you like to tell a joke. You know, you might have yeah. a joke or something. Maybe, uh... Why don't you sing Fly Me With Balloons? <laughs> no, I'm not <clears throat> stupid song. Yeah, and when you're on stage, you might be the same height as the church. Fly me with balloons so I can meet Catherine Midgley. Oh, that's really funny. Yeah, 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 you know, that might have been my favorite moment of 2006 when you admitted that you measured your cock with a ruler and you were five, <laughs> you were five inches long. Whatever. That was pretty good. Uh, I, Eric, are you measuring from your balls? <laughs> no. I'm the shaft, the base. I still hear that radio. I'm I going. Know. I'm bailing out of this conversation because he doesn't, he can't even think clearly. He's listening to himself. Well, um, just mm. everybody go to SFN and go to um, Johnny Frado's social club. Mm. All right. Thank you, Eric. And also... Get, Eric's always so interesting with those references go out on the web. Get, go out and get uh, Matt Roloff's book, Against Tall Odds. Against Tall Odds. Uh, I, I got to go, Eric. Thanks. I'll bye. <laughs> fucking 900 plugs. <laughs> I don't even know what they're all about. Yeah. <clears throat> That's all I hear. <clears throat> <laughs> Can you imagine him going up on stage and just, who's he supposed to introduce? Surely. There's Julie. <clears throat> oh, that's going to be a great show. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm Eric. A big sighting this weekend in California. Eric the Midget showed up at the Killers of Comedy show in Sacramento. Yeah, you know what? Richard and Sal know all about this. They they call themselves the Killers of Comedy. Yeah. Because I think they kill comedy completely. Right. There's no laughs. <laughs> just but, uh, killing. Going on. No, they're funny guys. You know, you know you've heard them on the roast and stuff, and, and they're, they're certainly funny here. So they invited Eric the Midget to show up. And wasn't he supposed to introduce someone? Hey, guys, come in here and just give us a little rundown. Yeah, I thought he was actually going to be on stage. I think they chloroformed Eric the Midget and uh, <laughs> raped him on stage. <laughs> That's a good act. That's funny stuff. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, good morning. Hold on. Let me find, what What do you want? Three? Mm, you were podium two. It's like, what are we gonna do? It's like running a football game here. Yeah, so Eric came out, and uh, he he's so small, he looks like a turkey, Howard. Like a big turkey with a he's head like on the, it. He's like the Chucky doll from Child's Play. And his chest just, it comes forward like it's like a shoebox tucked oh. under a baby oh, shirt, you yeah. know? Oh, there he is. There's yeah, Eric. We're kissing his cheek. 
Oh, that's so cute. Oh. But he's got the littlest hands. Does Eric the Midget dye his hair? He, he might. like it. Well, he uses some he's, kind of grease. See this here? It's like a turkey, you know? Right, like a turkey. It's like a, yeah, it's like a huge turkey with a head on it. So Eric, I heard Eric was bitching that that uh, he doesn't he objects to that song. So he waves about. me over. It was so great to see him. He goes, hey, we got a big dilemma here. I go, what? He goes, I know you have to rhyme with Catherine McPhee, <laughs> but I'm really not two foot three. <laughs> what is he? And I'm like, so I'm looking. I'm going, I'm so sorry, Eric. I let me. And then I realize he's not even two foot one. <laughs> he's not even one foot three. And I don't know how to change that lyric. <laughs> Was it cool hanging out with him? It was great. He's so... Uh, He's a sweet little guy you when you meet him in person. his hand and your mouth. It's like, you know when you... you, you know, the first time when you shook like a dog's paw, and you're like, that's interesting feeling. It's it was, real it, soft. Like, it's like, his like, hand's it's so like soft. cotton with a pencil stuck in the middle as a bone, you know? Oh, my goodness. It's interesting. so nice. He was great. <laughs> Eric was... So, he's in a tiny wheelchair, you know, the tiny power chair, just like in the ca cartoons? Yeah. So the bouncers well, have that cartoon is on Howard TV. The bouncers to, to play it safe have to bring the chair up first and then Eric. Wow. So they take him out of the chair and somebody's holding him like a baby. They put the <laughs> chair on the stage first and then they walk off the stage Why and they pick they up to... Eric and he's dangling in the air. Well, there was they, no ramp they on plop stage. They Eric in the chair on the stage oh. and then he does the introduction. And the crowd goes nuts when they see the wheelchair because they know who's coming up <laughs> yeah. next. They start chanting his name as soon as they see that wheelchair. Could he get laid? Uh, I don't, think I don't so. know. He's not a bad do looking guy. Do you think guy. he has working organ? I mean, like you know. Working no. Dick? You know what you I realized? Realize? What do you mean? You don't know if his penis were? How do you? I know? probably works. You guys probably jerked him off. Well, it must because he's horny. He talks right. about you know Kelly Clarkson and of stuff. His penis works. And he asked me. He said, "Could you tell Brooke Hogan at the Bubba wedding that I said hi?" <laughs> hey Eric, I heard you were in show business this weekend. What the fuck is your problem? You two idiots. <laughs> I was completely nice to your two dumb asses, and now you're here ripping me? We're not ripping you. We said it. you were real sweet. We liked meeting you. Yeah. And oh, yeah, like all the other comments were compliments. They were. What did they say that was bad? I'm not catching your drift. I'm three foot five. I'm nowhere near the two foot mark. <laughs> you're three foot five in the chair. No, you idiot. Stand in having a doctor measure. He has two foot two wheels. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take the wheels yeah, out of the that equation. Yeah, he's three foot five. What do you care if they say you're two foot three or three foot five? Yeah, What's just, the difference? It's funny for the song. There's morons that are listening that actually believe that. Does it matter that much, though? We don't cater to morons. <laughs> <laughs> this show has a very, very high IQ audience. By the way, what would it keep you out of if people thought you were two foot three? <laughs> a roller coaster? <laughs> you're curious, Eric. I don't see, like, like if, uh, why are you so sensitive about your height? I mean, you know, whether you're two foot three or three foot five, I mean, you see, because you don't want to be technically a midget, because three foot five is not a midget. It's tall. What is no, it? the cutoff for little person is four foot ten. Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, he's still... Then why does it matter? Yeah. yeah, what's the big deal? I mean, they were eyeballing you. They didn't think you were three foot five. Well, that's their dumbass troll. <laughs> but other than that, they said nice stuff. Yeah, yeah Eric, it was... Very soft. <laughs> we took Eric to a titty club. We put him in front row. Yep. Shuli helped him hand out dollar bills to the girls. Really? Were you? Did you go to a titty club? Yep. Look at you. How could you yell at these guys? Did you beat off when you got home? No, I... Tell the truth. No, I didn't. Did your penis work? Yes. Then you would have definitely beaten off to these broads. <laughs> Why wouldn't you beat off, Eric? He beat off. He's just so... He's so tight. He doesn't like to admit that he beats no, off. No, I didn't. How many I... times a day do you beat off? It'll ruin his image. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But you do do it. You know you do. He's got to beat off like... Two times a day at least. <laughs> hey, Eric, can you tell Howard the one time you did beat off when you tell me the girl who came over your apartment with the big boobies? Oh, yeah. What was that about? It um, was go ahead. a f friend of mine that from high school. She let me feel her up and all that stuff. And then afterwards, you know, I did do what Sal just said I did. You beat off? <laughs> <laughs> you slapped it? 
<laughs> now, does he like wheel his power chair over to the tissues afterwards, or, or do you? Yeah, yeah, how, first. Yeah. how do you work it? Do you power chair over to the tissues beforehand? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, what? Afterwards? No, before. And you get all set up. That's, sure. how, that's how I do it. Sure, I do it. <laughs> Tissues. <laughs> well, hey, I'm glad you were there, man. Sounds like a power saw. <laughs> Poor guy. And, I, and if I do see Brooke Hogan, I'm going to tell her you said hello. I really am. Thank you. Of all the shit Eric's probably worried about, the first thing Lisa says is, God, he looks old. <laughs> hey, how old are you, Eric? Do you dye your hair? 31. He definitely dyes his hair because his eyebrows are dark and his hair is blonde. First of all, look at the insane amount of makeup Sal's wearing in that picture. I know. I know. I'm, I'm, not not I'm just orange. Is I don't know why. Not, that's not makeup? No, it's just that Richard's so white that I look orange. Stop Rich, it. Richard hey, Eric, white. do you dye your hair? No. You do, too. That's someone, a lie. Someone dies it for him. Well, what, do you use grease in your hair or something, Eric? Or? No. Who does no. he look like? He looks exactly... Because it's slicked back. He looks like a little Jackie Martley. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Yes! God, you're right! That's who I look... He does! He looks like Jackie! <laughs> He's just a little funnier. i got to make a movie for the Howard Stern Film Festival oh, and let Eric play Jackie's... Oh, I agree like, that. The maybe. puppet. Well, maybe we'll face him with the puppet. Yeah, the puppet comes to life. <laughs> You know, I was, I'm trying to think, who the fuck does he look like? And you're right, he looks like Jackie. Yeah. Hey! Eric's hey. the size of a joke master. <laughs> I like the midget as a Jackie puppet. Hey, by the way, Richard, are you still wearing the same shirt that you wore Saturday at the appearance? Yeah. 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 On stage, it's Howard. Nice. You smell, man. Hey, Sal said that um, when they got on the plane. Oh, yeah, so... so uh, Sal's out. We're leaving the hotel, and Richard has a tiny duffel bag. It, it never occurred to me. So uh, I'm leaving. I go, how do you fit your clothes in there? He goes... I'm wearing my clothes. I go, you wear, well, how many, how much, how, where's your pants? He goes, they're on me. One pair of pants for three fucking days in a hotel with this and guy. And underwear. And everything. underwear. And when you come you home. You change your underwear? No. Why three not? days. But why not change your shirt when you get home? Uh, I just grabbed this one this morning. I was kind of in a hurry to get here. Here's the big question. Did you shower? I did this morning, yeah. No, but did you, you shower lying? on the road? Oh, dirty. No, he didn't shower on the road. I slept with him every night. No, but Richard, I did. You hit. didn't fucking take a shower the three days you were on the West Coast. I didn't sweat or anything. And you want to no. hear this? He doesn't okay. wash his jeans because he spent a lot of money on them and he doesn't want them to get damaged in the wash. You know what? Well, I don't want them to get stolen at the laundromat or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're like 150 bucks. It's beyond. Yeah, it's but what's beyond, the point? Well, to wash them. It's beyond laughing now. I'm really it's mad at you. It angers me. I mean, it's disgusting. It's gross, and it's like I can't. Meanwhile, you hear Will was here and shit his pants. What? 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 Yeah, Will. Well, he what are you talking about? He was here and he had like a stomach flu or something, which he still has. I don't know why he's at work. But when? What day was this? This was, uh, what day was this? Saturday morning. Yeah, you were here Saturday morning. What were you doing here Saturday? Well, I, I missed Friday, so I had to come in and finish my work. and I had to do these Huey Lewis notes. And uh, I came in, and I thought I was feeling a lot better. I had a little bit of an urge down there. Yeah. So I kind of let it go, and it was a wrong move. It was just down my legs, oh, wow. all over the place. Why are you guys shitting your pants? Like, why don't you just go to the bathroom? Because I didn't think I had to actually go. I thought it was kind of over it, and I could, like, control the urge, but it was just everywhere, and I was cleaning up in the bathroom. And, oh, that's, that's <laughs> and how do you get home now that you've got it all running down your legs? It's on your pants? It's everywhere? Well, no, mostly my, my boxers captured oh, it, so I just, like... Oh. Wrapped them up, brought them home. Did you get a number? Home? You didn't leave them here. Well, I was debating whether I wanted to keep them or not. <laughs> well, did anybody walk into the bathroom while you were? Yeah, there was like some Indian guy in there, and I was like, taping up my boxers. It was horrible. What the hell happened? <laughs> What's wrong with you, filthy? Those stern motherfuckers should have found. Filthy, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's that hard stern job. Oh, they, 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 they wrap your underpants up and What's shit in a bunch of fucking pigs. Yeah. <laughs> they say we stink. <laughs> I, but that. <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> you were wow. Lewis notes. Yeah, and then he canceled. That was the worst part. Oh. So is Eric going to be doing. Yeah, he, he canceled too. Wow. I'm still, I'm still fascinated. Richard does not shower 
the whole three days you're on the yes. West Coast. And doesn't and bring a change of clothing. Artie. All I know is I am trying to pray to an elephant and you smell like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, change. Sleep. change your shirt, man. Howard. You get off the road, I mean, and you've been on This is a brand new shirt, though. I just bought it on Saturday. So actually. what? You wore it for three straight days. You slept in it. You, you friggin' pants. I mean, dude. But, yeah. dude, how he sweated in it, there's cigarette smoke on it. You went to a strip club with that shirt you on. You know how gross these gigs are if you're on stage with one of those gigs? I mean, then, you don't, you don't it, sweat on stage? And then no. And with the lights? It was nice and cool. Out. It was yeah. cool out there. And, the, and then uh, you bring a scented candle with you so that, so that the room won't smell? Yeah. yeah. Because he smells. Yeah, it's awful. The it's pumpkin so candles, I love them. Yeah, but instead of bringing... wrapped up with the smell? Yeah, why, the... but instead of bringing a candle on the road... Bring soap. Why don't you just oh, I do shower? once in a while. I do. And wash your clothing. If uh, I mean, just sometimes we get, we're so busy and stuff. But I got, you know we get running around. Underwear. You don't want to have a clean pair of underwear. Oh no, no you know why? Like, you're like a person who lives in the 1800s. <laughs> like yeah, like the like the like there's no lights, there's no electricity, there's no washing. Like machine. Amish. I should be yeah. Amish. Or like a person who lives in 2007 uh, Kansas. Uh, <laughs> right. He uh, said, not, Howard, he said he doesn't have any room in his duffel bag for his iPod and his laptop if he adds a pair of pants. Uh. <laughs> Eric, so you like hanging out with these guys? It was fun? Yeah, I've been mean, not fun hearing them this morning. <laughs> well, they, they didn't say anything bad. No, we just said what happened. Yeah. They pointed out a lot of stuff that I don't want to have pointed out about myself. Like what? Your chicken breast? <laughs> That's one. His what? His turkey His physique. His turkey breath. His turkey physique. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a big turkey. <laughs> We're all vain. But look at Richard. Richard looks like I a look Dorito, like, you know? I look like a chicken. Right. I mean, Artie looks like an elephant. Sal looks like a magician. Veggie looks like a pig. Uh, Gary looks like a monkey. You look like a turkey. <laughs> so what? <laughs> We'll put you on the table for the Thanksgiving. Crowd, the crowd oh, in San Francisco went nuts. They, they were chanting Eric's they name. Love they loved him. At least right? they love you, man, right? Mm -hmm. Did you feel good up on stage? Did you feel like a rock star? Yeah, it felt good. Yeah. crowd loved you. See? Julie <laughs> 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 told me the crowd went <laughs> all night. Yeah, they did. <laughs> what did Eric say? Yeah, Eric, what did he say? Do what you did on stage. No, Let's that, hear it. That's his catchphrase. <laughs> no, it's not Artie. <laughs> Artie, say, I mean, uh, Eric, say something. What did you say on stage? I, well, I said that Johnny Frodo had a message for me to give to the audience. Nice. Um, <laughs> I don't oh, no, know. He's hooked in with that Johnny Frodo. And Johnny has him speaking. It's like, you know, he's Johnny's little dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Frodo. How quick a chance turn into booze, right? <laughs> no, they actually reacted positively to that. So what did Johnny Frodo have you, to say? You guys don't realize it. A lot of people do like to hear Johnny on your show. We know. We put him on. That's why we put him on. Yeah, you rushed his ass off the other day. Yeah, because he wasn't getting to well, the point. I got a show well, to produce. stupid call that it came out. Right, I, I gotta go, Eric. This I'm about is to get rid of you. Yeah, I'm about to hang up on you. <laughs> that lost you, Turkey. Happy birthday, Stern. Oh, thank you oh, very nice much. Thank you. And I will tell Brooke Hogan your message. Thank you. Anybody Thank else you got a message for the video of the bubble wedding? Yeah. Johnny Frano says to Brooke, I'll get to... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lisa, what else is in the news? Eric the Midget wants to wish us a happy anniversary. Yes, Eric? I just want to say happy anniversary. And I want to say happy anniversary to you. You've been a part of the show for the past year and many years, and uh, it's your anniversary as well as ours. Yeah, today I was willing to do the balloon stuff, but you guys didn't arrange it. Well, oh, you always have such conditions. You have so many conditions, Eric, we've given up. I'll do the balloon stunt if you get me on an episode of Hero. Heroes. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, uh, and, and get me backstage. To the end. Mm -hmm. WrestleMania 500. UFC Ultimate Fighting <laughs> Championship. And passes to. Just, and also to, to let me fuck Carrie Underwood. I know, he never asked for that. Oh. Whatever. It's always some ridiculous thing. I just hang up. Get me a meeting with the Maloof brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to go into hotel ma management. 
I go, what are you going to do at a hotel? I will greet people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is that? Larry Pierce is here. Everyone's excited about his new album, Pussy Whipped. And let's go to Sacramento. Eric, you have a question for Larry Pierce, an international artist. Go ahead. Yeah, why you guys like this guy? Oh, guy Eric. Sucks. Oh, Eric the Midget. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, no homo American Idol contestant. He's no Catherine McPhee, but he's okay. Better than Rascal Flatts. I listen to country. That sucks. Oh, you're out of your mind. Get off my phone. (laughs) Are you crazy? uh, uh, National treasure. Eric the Midget, you're on the air. (laughs) Eric the actor. (laughs) Whatever. Whatever. Eric the acting midget. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well... Okay. <laughs> I I like a lot of other listeners and getting tired of Jessica and Ralph's calls. I mean, you guys had him him and her on too many times yesterday. See, I get a lot of email that we have Eric on too much. <laughs> I would say so, yes. It, I'm sure those things happen. I get a lot of email about Eric, Ralph, and Jessica that they shouldn't be on at all. So, Eric, you're in the same boat. You're 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 in the boat with Ralph and Jessica, <laughs> and luckily you can fit. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, so your ass can't fit in any boat, Arnie. Nice, Eric. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll get it. Now you're being now you're mixing it up, you little motherfucker. That was out of line. I give as good as I get. <laughs> but it's funny that that even within that group of three, Jessica, Ralph, and Eric. Eric doesn't like Jessica and Ralph. <laughs> See, that's good. But I yeah. know Ralph loves when Eric calls. Oh, he him. he's a big Eric fan. Yeah, he's like, if you had Eric on twenty four hours a day, I'd listen. It's so fascinating when Eric like tries. Yeah, to... the one person that likes Eric, Eric doesn't like. Right. <laughs> I know. It, it, when we were doing the Friday show, Ralph wanted to make it the Eric show every week. He could, he would come with hours of material. And Eric, are you now sad that you said that about Ralph because he's such a fan of yours? I'm I'm just going by what you know other people have told me. They I've heard a lot of people saying that they're sick of Ralph. But oh, you're so you're a spokesperson. But what's your personal <laughs> feeling about Ralph? He does seem to call in way more than. But is he interesting to you? Needed. Is he interested? Is he interesting to you? I don't know. You don't know if he's interesting to you? Not really. He's not. Okay, well, let's know your opinion, not everyone else's. Yeah. All right. Now, when, when is the uh, film festival supposed to be? We don't know. We don't even know if we're having one. You I do mean, calm down. It's early. Yeah, I mean, you're doing a film. Maybe we should have one. I'm a 34, 36 waist. Yeah, Howard. And I read an art. Eric, hold on. I read Shut an article. Shut up, jerk off. <laughs> well, I, I like to Shut up, you little fuck nut. Get cut off. We're fucking doing a show, you faggot. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So, <laughs> she already, you're awfully harsh with her. Wow. wow. He's a little guy. Shut up, you little I read fucking. that if you if you want to know if you have a if you're the right weight, yes. Take your height uh-huh. and cut it in half. Yes. You know that measurement. Mm-hmm. And that should be the proper waist size. Your height in half? Yeah. That doesn't sound right. All right, so I'm... Um, so Eric's five. three feet tall, so <laughs> and his waist is a three inches, so... <laughs> that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. Well, wow, all right, so uh, what's... what's uh, Eric, how tall are you? Inches? Three foot five. All right, and what's your waist size? I uh, don't know. I'm not even sure he has a waist. Right, I don't know. <laughs> what kind of pants do they put on you? Do you have a waist? I'm sure I do. I was tailored for the tux for my brother's wedding, but I don't remember what the guy measured. Yeah, okay, I wish we had our cameras there. He doesn't that. remember what the guy measured. Hey, hold on a second. Jessica Hahn wants to yell at Eric the Midget. All right. Go ahead, Jessica. Eric, listen, you little fuck, ungrateful midget, greedy bastard. <laughs> Eric, who's the one who called you on your stupid ass show? When everybody else was knocking you because your dad was there, I called in and gave you all these compliments. Remember that, Eric? Eric, all you do, you're, you're such a, a greedy, ungrateful little bastard. <laughs> uh, seriously, like you're any better than me. At least for 20 years I added something years ago. When I had something to add, I've never asked Howard for anything. What do you think of this, Eric? What do you think of what Jessica is saying? Yeah, I'll take nine hours. 
Go find another TV. I will kiss my ass. Uh, you know what? You're a little freak. You're an ungrateful little freak. I can't stand you. Yeah, you're, you're blackmailing Howard. To get, yeah, you're going to get rid of Catherine. Or whatever. You're an actor. What did you do? One line? Because they did a favor to Howard? Who the hell are you? Oh, who the hell are you, you little ass wife? Now, Eric, why don't you just shut up your All little... All right, obviously a new butt. feud. You've heard of Donald and wow. Rosie. Now you have uh, Jessica Hahn and, and Eric. you're a fucking asshole, Howard. How many times has he given you a list of what he wants? He's not that great of it. You want to talk about it? I know maybe I'm a shitty guest. I was good at least one time, Eric. You know, whatever I am now, it's, it's done with. I did everything already. What the hell are you... Well, let's audience? hear what Eric has to respond. Go ahead. Oh, it'll take nine hours again. Go ahead, Eric. No, it won't yeah. take nine hours. Yeah, whatever, Eric. Who was there when your dad was in? You know what? Because your dad was there, Eric, I felt sorry for you. And I called into that show and tried to... All right, to... I can see that this is a big feud. Eric, do you want to respond in any way? Have you joined AARP? Oh, for oh. God. Yeah, that's real. Oh, you're so, you're so oh. fucking genius. You're, yeah, you're a freaking genius. <laughs> you know what? You really are an Nice. Asshole, a Eric. little like a, a, a torpedo. Right, an uppercut. <laughs> You think what Jessica's... Fuck? You said, whatever. You know, yeah, that's a real easy... You know, keep taking cheap shots. You know nothing about me, Eric. Where were you for for 20 years? Where the hell were you? All where right. was you, so, Howard? He's got Johnny Spado now. He's hey, may, may I let the guy answer? Yeah. Eric, where yeah. were you? Our thread is getting more pop stores than yours. Oh, oh my God, Howard. Yeah, hey, asshole. You know what? <laughs> why, don't you, yeah, why don't you just go to hell? You know what? You're saying you the it? Eric thread on Stern Fan Network is it's more popular, popular than the Jessica Hahn Corner? Johnny, oh, give me a break. Photo Social Club. Johnny Photo oh, wow. Social Club. You no, know, Howard, I don't think so. Ask Mutt. I tell you, you know since what? Eric threw in with Johnny Frado, he's and, like a And tough I did guy. it overnight. I didn't do it in nine years. Uh, Johnny's, but yeah, it's Johnny who's good. Not Let's Eric. I much. love Johnny. Eric is a piece Let's of crap, put... as usual, using somebody's, uh, you know, coattails. Less than Seriously. a month since Fred, Fred what is, is what major is your league. problem? You got obviously some freaking. Mutt said what, Eric? Less than a month, Johnny's thread is going to pass. Well, that's Johnny, Eric. It's Johnny, not you. Who I'm in there you? too. Oh, I'm yeah, in Eric there the too, actor. bringing people in there. Eric, the actor you're just is such in a there. nice guy. That's a big. And there uh, I am. You know the argument no, is Eric, important. Why? Yeah, so what is your problem with me? What is your problem? What have I ever done to you? Let's see. Back in okay. June, oh. yelling at me that one morning. Oh, my God. Who fucking who, Eric? That was because you were giving demands to Howard. What about, you know, Eric? Before All right, that, listen, you two check this up in the, yeah, on the Stern Fan Network. Off the air no, I'm not, point. Howard. I, I'm sick of that. You know, I'm uh, yeah, would, you guys... two, would you two be willing to fly down to Tampa in the Bubba Octagon and fight <laughs> it out? You would fight him? Please. Would you fight Please. Jessica Hahn, Eric? I wouldn't want to, I, I, you know, the guy's not equipped to, to, to do anything. Don't, don't demean yourself, Jessica. <laughs> don't insult the guy's uh, fighting ability. Oh, I can, Howard. I'm sick of everybody putting it down. I mean, I, whatever, you know. I know I'm not uh, some prize right now. I'm not I'm not claiming to be. I, don't I think you are. Man. You I know, think. an argument is insignificant. I like when you call in. I'm, you're our buddy. What are you talking about? You, you know I, what? I, I, here from thanks, you. guys, but, you know. <laughs> if Eric know and you he... went into the Bubba Octagon, I mean, and Bubba's, and, and Bubba's Octagon, Eric's allowed to bring his uh, weaponized wheelchair. Right. I oh, think you, I think it'd be a good fight. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? You forget I know Jesus. What would I do? Ooh. It would be not. Unf it would be the most unfair fight ever. I not if he has weapons that. in his wheelchair. Yeah, great. All right. I would thank, your did, off. thank you, guys. Yeah, kiss my ass, Eric. Hey, Howie, why don't you use like what Sam used to wear? One of those over those long coats. They looked really good. That was Sam's look. That was Sam's look. I don't want to. Why don't you do what Sam that. used to do and shit in the bed? Uh, I've done that too. All right. All right. I, I, I've done coke. I've done everything. Sam's done. Thank uh, you, Jessica. Thank you. Except Eric. die. Hey, before you let me go, I've been trying to. Oh, yeah, go ask him for yeah, more Yeah, what do you stuff. want, Eric? Guys, if you listen to the replays, I think you'll find that you both suck. <laughs> yeah, I know, Artie, thanks. I'm kidding. kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, bye. The, the reason why... You pissed her off. About... You know, you know, an argument is insignificant when one of the people arguing goes, Ask Mutt! <laughs> what, what is it, uh, Eric? The reason why I asked you about the film festival, if you guys were going to have it, I was going to come to it whenever it was. Oh, wow. well, thank you. Oh, who gives a hey, shit? That's good. I, well, I want to see him. I don't. All right, Eric, I'll let you know. <laughs> hey, I'm also considering already being a part of the show down at Lakeland, that Florida. What? All right, Eric's getting into We're doing a changes. show yeah, in Tampa. Yeah, he now wants to March uh, be flown everywhere, I guess. Yeah. All right, thank you, Eric.